I'm Lito. Good morning, baby. Good morning, everybody. Look at that girl right there. That's my baby. That's my baby. Family, what up, y'all? Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, family. I got to do something about this. I don't like this little water trail that be coming right here. So I got to put some rocks down right there. But family, what I want to talk to y'all about today is should you breed on the first heat, second heat, third heat? When should you breed your female dog, family? Love off the money, put blood on the money. When you make it to the top, everybody money hunting. They gunning, they coming. They wanna see you in the grave. Don't wanna see you paid. They wanna see you slave, but nah, we can't have that. And niggas turn to dead weight, we had to trash that. No lost love, tell them suckers they can have that. And no more stress about love, man, what a bag at. On oh, my mama, I'm past that. Put chains on the door, praying I don't get a foot in. Count real niggas out. How you fake niggas get in, but won't last forever, y'all. Crash together, my dog show me real love. Sometimes won't last forever. My heart broke when I seen that. And I think this is a good topic right here, family. Though I think this is a good topic right here, family. Though, and also, y'all let me know in the comments when do you first breed your dog? Is it the first heat? Is it the second heat? Third heat? Fourth heat? You know what I mean? All I'm gonna be able to do is tell y'all what, what I do. What I've seen, what I've experienced over the years. Remember, y'all, when you come to this channel, baby, SSK channel, I'm only going to tell y'all what I've experienced, what I've done, what I've dealt with, what I've been through. That's the only thing I'm going to be able to tell y'all. Nothing else, family. So, I think, me personally, I always breed on the second heat, family. I always breed on the second heat. Why do you breed on the second heat, Fetty? For one, when a dog has her first heat, right, her body develops. Her body go through certain changes. Her body um, goes through a cycle. And that cycle allows the body to mature, to adjust, to develop. It also uh, plays a role in uh, their mindset, how they act, how they think, how they behave when they go through that first heat. So you'll see sometimes a dog is real childish, real kitty, may play a lot, step all in the poop and just be a wild dog before they have their first heat. And once they have their first heat, you'll kind of notice in some dogs, not all dogs, they'll turn down a little bit, family. They'll wind down just a little bit and they won't be as turned up and as on 10 as they usually be, family. And that's because their body is developing, they growing, their body is maturing. So, what you don't want to do is, look at that girl right there. Look at these two girls. What's up, big mama? Look at these two girls right here, family. That's Miss Pressure right there, y'all. Miss Pressure is available, family. I put a picture of her mom, her dad. Look at that girl chest. That girl wide as. Look at that girl. Miss Pressure was born May 20th, y'all. May 20th. She is from Thichella. And bank family and I'll put a picture of her grandparents and her parents on the screen but Miss Pressure is available um, I'm just downsizing y'all that's it I, I was keeping her that's why she's still here but I'm downsizing I gotta downsize a little bit make some adjustments so um, but back to the video second heat to me is the best heat now I've bred on the third heat when I bred cookie cookie got bred on her third heat y'all I skipped the first heat as always. I never breed on the first heat. I skipped the first heat. Second heat, I wanted to breed her. I just couldn't find what I wanted to breed her to fast enough. And she was already in heat. And by the time I I went through the whole heat and still wasn't able to find what I was looking for. So I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm going to skip the heat. With Cookie, with certain dolls that I'm looking to do certain breedings for, I'd rather skip the heat than to just breed to anything. That's just how I look at it. That's just how I see it. That's just how I think, family. Everybody different. So, Cookie, I ended up breeding her on her third heat, which y'all seen what she produced, y'all. I bred Cookie to Shamrock. Uh, hopefully, if I don't forget, y'all, I'll make sure I put a picture of Shamrock and Cookie on the screen. And this is what I got, family. I got Alizé and I got Bitcoin, y'all. These puppies right here are nine months old. Bitcoin is about 82 pounds. Alizé is about 60 pounds, somewhere in there. 60 pounds 
And they from the same litter, y'all. And I let this boy loose with his mama the other day. And good God almighty, he way bigger than his mama, y'all. So his daddy about 105 pounds. So the boy going to be a tank. But for me and what, what I was trying to create, I knew exactly what I was trying to do with Cookie. And I got exactly plus what I wanted to do with Cookie. So, again, you also got to take into consideration what are you trying to create? What are you trying to produce when you do what you do when you're doing it? Because if you just want to breed just to breed, then nine times out of ten, you're going to breed on the first heat. You're probably going to breed on the first heat because you just want to breed to get some puppies on the ground or keep some puppies or sell some puppies, whatever it is that you trying to do. The ghost is available. That boy over there, that's the only puppy available out of this pack right here. That Merle boy right there, that white one. That boy a truck, y'all. The boy a truck. And that's also Bank's son. Miss Pressure I just showed y'all in the back, that's Bank's daughter. And that's Bank's son, that white Merle right there. So that's the only one available. Um, But if you just, look at me. Boy, hey, boy, you, boy, you better stop. Um, And, and I was, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But yeah. If you're just trying to breed to sell some pups, keep some pups, and make money quick, whatever you're trying to do, then this video might not be for you. This video is for people who are trying to create something of longevity. Somebody who is trying to create something that is going to last for a long time and is going to hold weight and hold some substance behind it. Something that you can stand on. Something that people say, God, Lee, boy, I got a dog from such and such. And whoo, man, he got some of the best dogs I've seen. That's what I thrive off and crave off in this game. I want people to get dogs from me and say, Jesus Christ, boy, I ain't going to lie. That's the best dog I ever got. And then now they could take my blood and go find some other amazing blood and then go create what they want to create for themselves. But you got to know what you want to do before you start doing it, family. You don't want to just jump into something and say, oh, I'm going to just get two dogs and start breeding because I want to make some money. I see everybody else doing it. You're going to crash out like that, family. A lot of times, a lot of people fall off because they don't know what all it takes they don't know what all uh comes with walking that path you get what i'm saying they just jump in blind and they crash like that if you put a boat in the ocean family with no map no destination no nothing you just set it in the water and let it go that's kind of what you're doing if you do that nine times out of ten that boat is gonna sink wind up on some island that it don't want to be at you need a plan you got to know, hey, this is what I want to do. Where are you trying to go? What's your destination? What route is you going to take to get to that destination? And then from there, you say, okay, boom, I got the right female I want. And then while she's developing, family, you looking for what it is that you want to create or put her with. So that gives you time. You skip the first heat. Well, I skip the first heat. Let her body mature. Let her body develop. Let her bones develop. Let her joints completely you know, come in and, and seal together properly. Sometimes you have a young dog have puppies and she's not mature enough. Now she start killing puppies. She laying on puppies. She's squashing puppies. Why? And then they get mad at the dog. Man, she killed the whole litter. Well, goddamn, bro. She only seven months. She a puppy herself. It's like, would you let your daughter have a kid at 13 years old? No, she's still a little kid. You get what I'm saying? Would you let your son go off and have a baby at 15 years old? No. So it's the same with these dogs, y'all. And and on my channel, y'all, if anybody watch my channel enough, and I want y'all to let me know in the comments if you agree with this. I try to simplify everything on my channel, y'all. I try not to make it hard. I try not to give y'all these really big names. Like, what up, family? Listen, y'all, the ebook is available, family, on my website, sskkennels.com, family. Go get that deworming ebook. So that way you ain't got to keep running to the vet to find out what medicine you need to deworm your dog. It's much ex more expensive at the vet family. Go ahead, go to the website, sskkennels.com. Click on ebook at the top tab and go download that ebook, family. Once you purchase the ebook, you could download it on your phone, your computer, your laptop, your iPad, your desktop, your top desk, your bottom desk, the under the desk, family. Go and get that ebook, family, on how to deworm your dog. We want to educate you. We not only want to give you dog, but we want to educate you on how to keep a healthy, happy dog. Family, go get that ebook off my website. I love y'all, baby. I try to simplify it in ways that I understood it and I took it and I was able to process it, develop it, and put it into action in my way. 
which was the simplest terms, y'all. I don't like when shit is over overcomplicated. That's just me. So, and it worked for me, y'all. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just trying to share this information, share this game with somebody, so that way somebody don't make the same mistakes I made. That's the whole purpose of this channel, y'all. Yes, I sell dogs. Yes, I'm on here to make people smile, educate people, laugh, make people laugh, and just show off great dogs. But at the end of the day, y'all, I want y'all to learn from the mistakes I made, learn from what I've done that worked, what didn't work. You get what I'm saying? So it's super important that you remember that. But you want this dog to be developed, to be mature enough to know how to handle, how to manage, how to balance out that situation when she's about to have puppies. You want this dog body to be developed enough just in case you got to do a C-section. Just in case you got to, whatever it is that you got to do, you want to make sure this dog is strong enough, healthy enough, smart enough, and encouraged enough and have the courage to go through the process, fam. You don't just want to put your dog through something that the dog is not ready for. And also, I see a lot of this right here will happen. People breed on the first heat. The dog not ready. This they first time breeding. They not ready. Now everything goes bad. They don't know how to deworm the dog. And again, family, the deworming ebook is available. It's finished. I created this deep this ebook specifically for y'all, so that way you don't have to go through of how not to do things, how to do things, when should you do things, when should you not do things. When it comes down to deworming your dog from a puppy to an adult to a pregnant life. Hey, hey, Disney, cut it out. You get what I'm saying? That's why I made the ebook, family. It was a lot of mistakes I made. And I'm getting people saying, man, Fetty, the ebook, $150. That's a lot of money. It's not. Think about it like this, family. If you got puppies that you're selling, I'm going to just make up a, a, a number, $1,500. You got five puppies. You do, let's just say $1,000 and make the number even. You got seven puppies and you selling them all that's seven thousand dollars you'll make off that litter family what's 150 dollars to invest in to make sure yet your dog is developed the right way they look healthy they look strong and not only that it's going to save you with going to the vet a vet bill itself is more than 150 for one visit so if you got this information now you get to skip out on having to go to the vet i'm not saying don't take your dog to the vet I still take my dog to the vet, depending on what's going on. But it's a lot of stuff now. I don't have to go to the vet because I fully understand and know how to manage and balance this situation out. So you got to know what you're stepping into before you step into it. And that's what that ebook is for, to educate you, to educate you on how to move, how to deworm, what to use, what's the dosages. All of that is in that, that e-worm, the e-worming, deworming book, family. So educate yourself before you just go breed on the first heat just to hurry up and jump in this game and make money family educate yourself do some homework get on youtube get on google watch as much videos as you can ask as many questions as you can um just kind of look at people camp not only mine look at some other camps see what they doing how they doing it how they dogs develop what worked for them what didn't work for them sit back and study don't just call me or call another kennel and ask a bunch of questions you got to go off and do the homework yourself, family. We busy. We got lives. We got things we trying to do. Um, so we can't just sit and answer everybody's questions. Although me and a lot of other kennels, we do try to help and answer questions. But we moving. We shaking. We running, baby. So it's hard to sit on the phone with you and, and answer 20 questions. You got to get online do that homework. And that's why I made that deworming ebook, family. So that way you don't have to ask 60 questions. Everything you want is in that ebook. And not only is it in there, but all of the products that you're going to need, except for the ones that you will need a prescription on, all you got to do is click the link right in the ebook, and it's going to take you directly to that product. And you can purchase it online right there. I made it super easy for y'all, so you don't have to go digging, searching, and looking for nothing. But it's super important that you understand what it is that you're trying to create, what it is that you're trying to do with this dog before you just do it, family. So me personally, I always breed on the second or third heat. Sometimes I might not, Alize might not get bred into her third heat, y'all, because I am anticipating something so, so, so big for Alize that I might just say, man, you know what? I'm going to wait to the third heat. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let her body mature. I'm going to let her develop. And I want to make sure I'm not rushing to just say, oh, I'm going to breed her this dog just because I might find something. I'm like, God, man, I should have bred to this dog. 
this would have gave me that. That would have added this to her to make, you get what I'm saying? So, again, family, I hope this information was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if this information helped you in any way, form, or fashion, family. Me, personally, I always breed on the second heat, y'all, or third heat. So, know what you're doing before you do it. Have a plan. Have a destination on where you're trying to go. Uh, put together a team. Um, and educate yourself, family. Know what it is that you're going to do before you do it, baby. I love y'all. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, family. And share this with somebody because this information is super helpful. And it may help and save somebody else from losing six, seven, eight puppies, family. So, uh... I love y'all, baby. This will be part one. We'll, we'll, God, we'll do part two, family. So I love y'all. I'm out of here.